All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to recolor a black and white image using blending options in the Layers panel. So, what I've done, and you're going to have to do this on your own using the same techniques we used in the uh, makeover challenge that we did yesterday, or prior to this, if you didn't do it yesterday, uh, you're going to have to color in different colors. So, the first thing I did is I colored in these two pieces right here, which is the side panel and the headlamps and then the license plate. And you can see it's not a very good job. Like I just went very quickly over it so it doesn't have to be perfect for this to work. But in the layers panel, you're going to choose the layer that you have your color in. So and I did them in separate layers because they need separate color, separate, uh, separate blending modes to be able to work the right way. So, and you might play around with yours if you use different colors. Feel free to use different colors. Um, but this is what you get. So in my first layer right here, I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. So that way you can see, look, it's starting to pop under there. You can see that it's coming through. And then you want to turn your opacity down. I'm going to turn it down to 40, 40%. So that gives me a real good look of this cream color on the side like a car in this time period would have. And then you see the headlamps look like they have a little light yellow tint to them. All right, so that's pretty simple. I mean, that's all we're doing with everything we're doing today, just a little bit different blending mode. So then I did the top of the car blue, and you can see I came in here into the window, and I used an eraser at a low opacity to really knock out some of that blue tint but still leave some of it in. Um, and this one, I'm going to make sure I click here. I'm going to turn my opacity down to 60%, and then I'm going to hit it with a soft light blending mode so you can see that it really starts popping like like a car would so it's a very dark blue you can see the windows still have that see-through feel but they have that bluish tint uh, the next thing I did is I added color to the ground and the trees back here and in this layer I want to take my opacity down to 40 percent I know that still looks very wonky but then I want to go to multiply okay so then you see that the trees kind of fill in the right way and these rocks have a, a, a beigeish, rocky look. Now, look, you might notice here that it looks like the roadway is colored in. I, I didn't do anything with the roadway, uh, but because your mind is seeing colors, it's tricking you into thinking that that might be yellow. Now, it might not be for you, but just in general, human eye will trick yourself into seeing colors that aren't there. And lastly, I did the sky, and you can see it's not very smooth all the way around. I just went and blocked it in all the way around. And with this one, we're going to go really, really light. So I'm going to go and drop my opacity down to 15%. And I'm going to go to lighten. Okay. And that's going to give you a bluish tint, a little gray overtone to the sky. And it's going to make it look like it's stormy out there, outside. So once you're done with that, go ahead and turn this in, export it, and turn it in. And you're good to go. That's how you recolor a black and white image into color. You can do that with your family photos if you want to. Uh, you know, it'll be a really big surprise for your grandmother for when, uh, when you get a chance to see her, you know, show her some stuff you recolored from her childhood. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks. Have a great day.